Edwards. This is the coolest community in freight. Now, if you've heard of the show, then you know about my newsletter. I write it every Wednesday and Friday night, 7 p.m. Eastern, and I cover much of the things that I cover here. Tech news, warehouse updates, anything happening in the cold chain world. So before we get into our guest for the show, let's get into some headlines. Now, McCain Foods is jumping into the metaverse by introducing Regan Fries to Roblox virtual players. McCain Foods is using their Farms of the Future game on Roblox's Livetopia platform to show users how to regeneratively farm the potatoes used for Regan Fries. This program is directed towards young students and is part of McCain's Save Our Soil initiative. Regenerative farming builds soil health, improves biodiversity, and enhances on form excuse me, on-farm resilience to climate change, Newswire reports. Now, this partnership is part of McCain Foods' effort to educate others on ways to grow potatoes that are beneficial to the planet and the surrounding communities. McCain is working to use regenerative farming strategies throughout their entire potato profile by the end of 2030. And a new acquisition on the West Coast, Worldwide Produce, a fresh produce and dairy distributor under Sole Source Capital, has officially purchased Left Coast Food Company. Left Coast focuses on frozen and dry goods and produce for the San Diego area. A Business Wire reports that this partnership allows Left Coast to benefit from worldwide supplier relationships and their product catalog. Worldwide will be able to expand their services in the San Diego region. The terms of this agreement were not disclosed. And the pharmaceutical industry will soon have a new option in transporting cold product. CCOP and B Medical Systems are partnering to build ultra-low temperature transport boxes. In a news release from the company, CCOP says that the COVID-19 pandemic increased demand for cold storage, and their solution is a medical transport unit equipped with a cascade compressor system that will stay ultra-cold even in tropical environments. It could be used to move vaccines, biospecimens, and more. Now, the company has not yet announced a date of when these might be available, but it says they hope to finish the development and testing phase soon. Today, I'm joined by Alex Vale. He is the director of cold chain packaging at World Courier. Alex, how are you doing today? I'm, C uh, I'm fine, CJ. How are you? I'm doing great. It's a happy Friday here in Freight Alley. And I would love to kind of get into your background a bit. Tell me how you started at World Courier and more about yourself. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm a mechanical engineer uh, and, and I work with temperature control for uh, over sev 17 years. Um, I started my career in a refrigerator. Sorry. I'm Brazilian. I, I, I live in Sao Paulo, uh, Brazil, and uh, and then I started my, my career in a Brazilian refrigeration uh, 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 company that was specialized on uh, temperature control of uh, industrial uh, processes and also, um, yeah, temperature control of of chambers. So during that time, uh, I worked on that company for. Uh, close to five years, and then um, during that time, I, I worked mainly with climatic chambers for stability tests for the pharmaceutical industry, you know. And then I joined World Courier uh, 13 years ago. Um, I joined um, to start a facility and engineering department in in World Courier at our uh, depot uh, business for clinical trials products. So. Um, so that this this department that that, that we created uh, was responsible for designing and specifying um, um, equipment for temperature control of the facilities for the depots, and we built um, eight depots ar around the world. So from Asia, um, yeah, few of few depots in in Asia, then in South Africa, in Europe, and also in Latin America. So. Then uh, about five years ago, I started to also work at the coaching uh, transport business in, uh, in, in World Courier, supporting the transport offices that we have in more than, that we have offices in more than 50 countries uh, around the world. So during this, this period, we, yeah, uh, uh, my team supported the, the expansion and relocation of more than 30 offices uh, around the world. And then recently, uh, around four months ago, um, I, 
uh, I became the, the director of coaching packaging uh, within World Courier, uh, which uh, I'm responsible for, uh, for the commercial and the operational uh, health of our coaching packaging uh, offering for, uh, for, the, for, for, uh, yeah, for the business. Um, World Courier is a, is a global, uh, global pharmaceutical logistics company. Uh, that we and part of Amerisource Bergen. Um, our main business is to transport um, temperature sensitive products, coaching products uh, from uh, around the world, you know. So, yeah, that's a little bit of, of myself and, and, and work with her. I'll first congratulate you on the new director role. That's very exciting, especially since you've been with the company for so long. It, it seems like they might be appreciating your work entirely. Yeah, yeah. No, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's Absolutely. right. Absolutely. And so today we're actually talking about a blast conditioner, something that I'm assuming your engineering background plays a big part of in this. That's that's right. And and my experience, uh, yeah, with temperature control, uh, yeah, that yeah, that was where the the idea uh, started. I think it would be nice if I share a little bit about the story of this equipment. So. Basically, the, the blast conditioner is, a, is an equipment that we, it's a solution, uh, 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 an equipment that we, that we created that basically we are able to conjunction the, the PCMs or the gel packs, you know, the gels for passive um, uh, coaching packaging systems, you know, uh, in a very short period of time. So uh, this idea started in a... Um, uh, in a summit of the company in 2017, at the end of 2017, in a summit where we uh, we came together, the main leaders of, of the company uh, in London, and then we had a, a Shark Tank um, uh, competition on on that summit, and then on that on that Shark Tank there was was presented like within the groups was presented more than a hundred ideas, and then some of them were picked to be presented on the stage. Blast Conjectioner was one of those ideas, and at the end it became the, the winning idea of that summit, uh, of that Shark Tank. Um, and then the company uh, invested on the development of, of that idea. So what was the idea? The idea was to get uh, an equipment from the food industry called Blast Freezer, which is not a it's not new, uh, like to use on the coaching industry for uh, uh, for the prepar for the conditioning of the of the drill packs. Is it was not new to use the blast freezer, but for uh, the blast conditioning was the blast freezer uh, in the coaching industry was was used and is still used for large volumes of uh, of gel packs when you need to freeze a lot of PCMs at the same time, you know, for for large volumes, you know. Uh, and then after that, was it still required to put those PCMs in a temperature controlled area to make sure that you have the right temperature of the uh, of the PCM, and then afterwards use the the PCM on on the packaging. You know, the the idea was to using uh, my background on temperature control was to create a, an equipment that works like the blast freezer that not only freezes the PCM. Or change the phase change of uh, um, uh, change the phase of the of the PCM, but also final condition. And after the process, the PCM is just ready to use to pack in a packaging and then use for uh, to transport a temp temperature sensitive product. You know, so so this was something that since I joined um, uh, this business, uh, I've been looking at. We conjecturing the pre conjecturing or conjecturing the, the, the gel packs and taking days to, to conjecture. And then I was looking at that. We should find a way to make that faster, right? Uh, so, days of process, uh, yeah, it's quite a, a, a long time, you know? So, then uh, the idea was to basically, like, when we look at the PCM that we were, that we most used at that time, the traditional method was to conjecture that refrigerated PCM for two to eight uh, shipments in 48 hours. So uh, at, in, in a minimum of 48 hours. Uh, we present the idea to reduce that time to just four hours, you know? So as I said, that idea was, uh, yeah, 
um, yeah, the, the company decided to invest on, on that idea. And then over the, the uh, in, in 2018, we, we developed a prototype and we started to test that system over the year for months. And, and as very often it happens with, with this kind of ideas, um, we thought that it would be much simpler than it was. So we ended up with months of development and testing and, and testing and, and rewriting the, uh, the code of the, of the software for, um, to control the, the process, you know. And there was points where we had like three engineers of the company working on the project, you know. So, so uh, me as an a mechanical engineer, then we had an electric engineer responsible for software development, and also we had a, a control and automation engineer involved on, on that project. So then after months during 2018, we were able to came with a final solution that we said, that we were able to repeat and not fail and with no risk that at the end of the process the the PCM was not good to be used or with a risk for for a temperature excursion on the shipment you know so so then during that process we we had to just develop a new equipment a new solution so when we came with that uh, with with that final solution um, we saw that it was something, yeah, quite new, you know, uh, to to the industry. You know, uh, we we hired a, a, a patent, um, uh, yeah, we hired a, a patent um, specialized company, you know, to perform a, a patentability. I don't know if that word exists, but a patentability uh, due diligence. So that was done, and it was concluded that. Uh, there was nothing similar in the market, nothing patented so far. We filed a, a, a patent application for that, which recently, a few months ago, it was uh, granted the, the patent. And then after that, using everything that we learned, we created a new, a new project, um, uh, or we, we designed a, a new equipment, and then we decided to install that new equipment in, in, in one of our largest largest uh, operations in, in what we had. That at, at that time, we, we decided to go in, with our office located in, in Long Island, uh, in New Hyde Park. Um, and then we, we installed the equipment there. Uh, and again, of course, there was challenge and it took longer than what we thought. Finally, we installed the equipment and we tested qualified to make sure that there was no risk for, for the business. And then in April 2020, already in the middle of the, of the pandemic, we finally qualified completely the equipment with all the, um, yeah, following the, the good practices for the pharma industry to make sure that the equipment, the equipment was able to produce the PCMs at the right temperature and that there was no uh, risk involved for the shipments, you know. And then in April 2020, we started to use commercially the um, uh, the, the blast conjecture in, in Long Island and New Hyde Park. So now it already completed two years and a half that we have that system running and we're running very well. Uh, and, and yeah, and then during in these two years and a half, we have, we installed uh, we deployed the equipment in, in other facilities. Today we have 11 facilities uh, with, with blast conjecture uh, operating around the world, including yeah, a blast conjecture in Japan, uh, um, yeah, uh, two in Germany, and then uh, some other in, in Europe, and then two in, in the US, one in Long Island, another one in uh, Columbus, Ohio. Um, and then, and we have now a red uh, acquired or um, yeah engaged another the installation of another uh, ten units. So right now we we are uh, we are red conditioning about twenty percent of the um, of the of the demand of PCMs um, in what we heard with blast conjectures. And by beginning of uh, uh, beginning of two thousand twenty three. We should have the other 10 installed, and then we would be reaching close to 50% of the, of the um, 
yeah, of the PCMs uh, consumed in, in water cooler, conjectured by the by the blast conjectioner. One other thing that it's it's really important to say about the blast conjectioner is is it's it's uh, it's flexibility, you know. So the system can operate from plus. 50 degrees Celsius below to uh, yeah, conjecture PCMs to uh, uh, minus 30 degrees Celsius. So basically, the same equipment can conjecture uh, any any PCM from ambient temperature ranges until frozen minus 30 degrees Celsius, uh, and then it it has a software with a touch screen interface that you place a, a, a trolley full with uh, with PCMs uh, on it. You go on the on the touch screen interface. You select the PCM that you put on on it, and then the the software uh, on on the controller runs the whole process. And it uh, uh, and as part of the patent with the process we 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 def we develop it, the um, uh, it's just uh, error proof. Like uh, like if the operator loads with just one PCM inside the trolley and start the, the process. The system adjusts itself, understand via the multiple sensors within the uh, temperature sensors within the, the blast conjecture. It, uh, it, it is able to make sure that the temperature of the PCM at the, at the end of the process uh, is, is, is perfect. The PCM is at the right uh, conjecture, at the right phase, frozen and with or, or melted, and with the, the right uh, temperature. So. Yeah, so that's, I, I think I talk a lot. So that, that's how the blast conjecture works. <laughs> I think you, you mentioned uh, changing it from 48 hours down to four hours, which is wild, but also for freezing from 72 hours to eight hours. I mean, that's, that's a feat in itself. That's amazing. Yeah, no, that, that's correct. We, we have like a PCM that it, it the traditional method takes five days, and we reduce it to ten to twelve hours. So, so it's it's really really a game changer, uh, you know. And 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 especially when you reach moments of the industry that you have like a a, a, a peak demand or issues on the supply chain where you can't get more packaging, you know. So with the blast conditioner, you are able to to turn the same packaging. More, uh, yeah, more times, um, you know, uh, and then yeah, you can do more with less packaging, you know. So and also more with less space, you know. Because you don't have to wait for it to get to the temperature that it needs to be. I get this, and exactly. I know. Exactly. Yeah. I, I believe you said it was eleven facilities that this blast conditioner is currently in. Is that correct? Correct. That's. And correct. so I'm yeah. curious what feedback you've heard from those facilities. Yeah, no, the feedback is is great. They uh, basically, in fact, they, they get uh, addicted when they start to use because, like, uh, before the blast conjecture, they used to put the, the 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 PCMs on in one area, then wait for that time, uh, um, do uh, records of when those PCMs were entered on that area, when it left that area, you know, recordings. And then, um, and, and then with the blast conjecture, there is also one other thing that at the same at the end of the process, the software issues automatically a certificate that assures that that the PCM that 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 batch of PCMs uh, are just ready to use. You know, so it also saves time on on the on the process. So. The feedback is, is great from um, uh, from the offices where we have the blast conjecture uh, installed, and uh, yeah, we do have read some customers that, of course, we were impacted by the by, by the pandemic. That now we are getting more and more um, um, in local um, audits from 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 customers and also visits from from customers. That they are looking at the blast and and very often they get, yeah, excited to see this new technology and um, yeah and and they are always very interested to to learn more about about it. So I'm I'm really excited to have the chance to talk about the blast conditioner um, uh, with you. 
It's a very exciting product. And I think you'd mentioned the demand for cold chain solutions in the pharmaceutical industry. I'm curious what you would say you've seen in the last couple of years and, and maybe where you see that demand going in the future. Sure. Yeah. Uh, it is expected to to the cold chain um, um, yeah to, to the cold chain business grow uh, continue to grow like we see that since 2018 uh, the demand has been growing um, very fast you know and we see the, uh, we do expect that to continue at least for the next five years until 2027 um, so so we we also see demands for uh, for then this is more broadly on, on the business of word coherence. So besides the, the PCM based uh, packaging solutions, we also see uh, the demand growing uh, rapidly uh, on the on the cell gene therapy uh, business, which requires uh, cryogenic shipments with liquid nitrogen and also uh, dry ice shipments. You know, so we do see yeah the business um, yeah the cold chain business growing. Yeah, a lot in the future. And let's just talk about maybe what might be the future for World Courier. Is there anything new coming up, any new technology, or what might you be working on next? Yeah, we we are looking for. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, we are we are monitoring the market to see new uh, packaging solutions coming um, uh, uh, being available. You know, and and also we. There is one thing that it's that that it's already ongoing. That it's like the a revolution on the uh, on the sensors and monitors and uh, tech, um, uh, and also IoT. You know that very often we hear about IoT. So this is really happening in in the in the industry, and this is a great stuff because like. With more technology, we uh, we will be more and more challenged to make sure that we have the uh, the temperature controlled and that we assure that the quality of the of the pharmaceutical products, you know, being delivered to be, to the patients at the end of the of the line, you know. So so um, yeah, we for the future in what we're here, we we will continue to invest on on technology, you know, uh, regarding uh, yeah. Better solutions for for uh, temperature and location monitoring uh, uh, of our shipments, you know. So that's that's w the area where I see that we will be yeah, um, uh, investing in the future. And when we're talking about this blast conditioner in the ten facilities. 11 facilities that it's already in. I believe that it's going to be in 10 more, I, th I think is what you said, by 2023. Correct. Anywhere specifically that you can tell me? Um, yeah, there are uh, there are some facilities in, in Europe. Um, so, yeah, there is a facility in, in Milano, uh, Paris, um, uh, and and also in the U.S., there are another three uh, facilities that we will deploy. So there are three uh, other blast conditioners ordered. So the locations is still not uh, defined in uh, in the U.S., but there will be another three units installed in in, in the U.S. So yeah, uh, in Asia we we also have uh, some other um, yeah two blast conditioners in in Australia to be installed. So. Yeah, basically, it's, yeah, few countries. Uh, uh, yeah, that we will have the the blast conjunction deployed. It's very exciting, and I'm I'm excited to see how this grows and maybe what other technology we can we can hear from World Courier. It's very exciting. Sure. Yeah, and and I have to say that this is what we have uh, already um engaged right but we do expect to have more blast conditioners probably until the end of 2023 so more blast conditioners to be to be installed so and and also it depends on on the on the demand from the business right so as as we grow and new facilities are are deployed uh, the idea is really to come up with the with the blast conjunction and yeah and deploy that added flexibility for uh, for our operations Alex, thank you so much for joining my show this afternoon. Where can folks hear more from you and from World Courier? Sorry, can you repeat that? Where can folks hear more from you and World Courier? Where can they find you? 
Oh yeah, sure. You you can you can find me on on LinkedIn, and you can also find uh, work with her uh, on 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 the web, you know. So and on LinkedIn as well. So yeah. Perfect. Well, thank you so much again for joining, and I'll be checking back in with you to see how this blast freezer goes, the blast conditioner sure. goes. It was, it was a pleasure to, to speak with you, Sydney, and, and thank you very much. Now, as I mentioned, my newsletter will be out tonight. I'll have this interview linked to it at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Check it out. Next week, we're talking with the folks with Grip. Stay tuned.